So next we're going to look at understanding the offers tabs and working with chains. So into the offer record, the first tab here is the details tab, which is essentially as you see it, the wizard. All right, so we've got the offer status and the amount, the progress status, which you can manually change to flag up if there was a possible problem or there is a problem. We'll look at that more later on on these videos. We've then got the deposit amount if necessary and the offer extras and conditions. The property details will link you back to the property record and the applicant purchaser details will link you back to the applicant record. On the notes tab, you've got lots of relevant note fields here, including your private summary and the current summary for the vendor. You've also got current summary for vendor solicitor, which you can type in there, current summary for lawyers and other agents, and current summary for the purchaser solicitor. The chain details box looks like a bit of a mess, but when you press the edit button, it's a very simple way you can note down the chain details of this offer record, just by typing into this box and pressing the tick. Moving on to the solicitors tab, you can start adding solicitors in. If they were added onto the property record, for example, they would have pulled through to the offer. If they weren't added onto the re re relevant records, we can add them in here. So we've got purchase solicitor and we click the plus icon and search for our solicitor using the wildcard feature and we've got our purchase solicitor. FS and Surveyor, Financial Services and Surveyor, by clicking the plus icon here, we can add in the mortgage advisor. Again, searching for them using the wildcard feature or if necessary, adding them in as a new contact. We've then got our Surveyor as well, so the plus icon, search for them, select them, and we've got our financial notes, so mortgage, offer, progressing, normally. You've then got the survey type, so we're going to go with a home buyers. And moving on to the dates tab. Now on the dates tab, there are so many relevant date fields here. Some of them are greyed out with no calendar next to them. And that is because they are compliant date fields. So you cannot change when the offer or the date that the offer was entered. The offer was entered today and that is why the date field has been populated here. You've got your offer accepted date as well, the refused and the cancelled. Now if there's anything in the offer cancelled date field, it will go as one of your fall throughs, which is why you never ever cancel the sale before it is accepted. It is not a fall through then, that is a refused offer. Over here and in the middle on the right hand side, we've got our target dates and our actual dates. We've got them here for mortgage offer, survey, local searches, pre-contract inquiries, exchange and completion. Those are the six standard date fields, milestones if you will, on the offer record. They all have a percentage down the side, which means if you repopulate now the mortgage offer date, the actual date, by clicking the calendar and selecting the date, this offer is now 15% complete. Further down, you've got the spaces here for a further six date fields. You can add these in via configuration or get a boss or your super user to do that for you. Moving on finally to the events tab. Everything that we've done for this offer and for the applicant as well will be recorded and stored on the events tab with a date and a timestamp for compliancy reasons. So anytime the offer and the property, the applicant and the property rather have crossed paths, they will be on here. So any viewings, any matches, they will be on here before the offer record. We've got our pink bar up at the top telling us there are pending changes so we can right click and save. We've added in the solicitors now, we can send the offer accepted letter to all parties. So on the action menu, right click and we're going to create a letter. Once again, I'm going to be using the expert agent default letters, but you will generally by default be using the R letters tab. I'm going to select the format of HTML and use our offer accepted and sales memo to all parties, eight pages. Clicking on that will open up the letter. 
and we've got our letter here to the vendor and the vendor solicitor. We've then got the letter to the applicant and their memo of sale and then the applicant solicitor and their memo of sale. So each party has its own memo of sale. Clicking the email button down at the bottom will give you the ability to email and you can email multiple times. So we're going to email first of all to the vendor. And we're going to email selected pages of one to two. And select the send, send button. Click OK and then email again down at the bottom. This time we're going to select the vendors lister, selected pages and select pages three to four. Press send, OK and email. This time we're going to send it to the applicant and send then selected pages, pages five to six. Send, OK, email. Finally, to the applicant's solicitor, selected pages, seven to eight. And send, OK, and this time save and close. They will all send those letters individually and they will get their own email and their own memo of sale. Next, we're going to look at working with our chains. Now, there's two ways of opening up the chain details from an offer record. is either on the action menu and selecting chain details or by opening up the tooltip up at the top and selecting chain details from the right hand side. That will take you to the chain record for 10 Johnston Street because we've clicked onto the chain from 10 Johnston Street. And you can see this is the only element of the chain at the moment. The offer is in green because it is our offer and it's in green down at the bottom here because it's progressing normally. We've also got our progressing normally color flash down the side. Clicking on the plus icon will give us the option to add the element up or down. First of all, though, it will ask us whether we want to use the vendor details. So Mark Cougar here as the new chains purchaser. So Mark is buying another property. I'm going to select no at this point. It gives us the option here because we've selected no to go up or down and we're going to go down. It also gives us the option to select whether it's an external offer. So it's not one of our properties that is being bought or sold. It's one of ours on the system. So we're going to search for it now and click the search button. So this is the property that he is currently selling. He's then also then buying 10 Johnston Street. Pressing the save button down at the bottom will add that element into the chain and it will be in brown because it is one of our current properties, but it's not the one that we clicked into the chain from. We can go down again by clicking the plus icon and this time again saying no, selecting down one more time and again offer on system. searching for your offer and selecting the option there. And that will add the other element in as well. We can go up by clicking the up button here and then selecting yes and that will make Mark Cougar the purchaser on the property. Now we don't get the option to go down and this is an external offer. So we would do a look up for the address select the address that they are buying from the drop down and we can add in their selling agent clicking add or change now we don't have their selling agent in the system as a contact so i'm going to click the plus icon down at the bottom and then add them in so their company name email address mobile number mobile description and then we've got all of the other information here and we've got their address as well so we can type in the address of the company and they are an estate agent contact type so clicking at the save button here 
We would then go to the vendors tab. Now the vendor on this property is just a Mr. Example vendor. So just typing in the details, there is much details as we have. We don't necessarily need a salutation field because we probably wouldn't ever really be sending him letters, but we can do. We can also get the email address if we've got it or if we're allowed to have it and mobile number and phone and solicitor. So clicking on the add or change for solicitor and we can just select our solicitor. Moving on to the purchaser tab, we've got our purchaser details here because we have them in the system already and we can add their solicitor in as well. We've then got the date fields on these, this offer, so we can just say that the mortgage offer has been completed on this particular offer. Pressing the save button down at the bottom will add that element into the chain and it will add it in in blue because it is an external offer. You can see the scroll bar down along the bottom that telling us how this offer is progressing through. On any one of ours, so either a brown or a green one, if you click the edit option, that will open up the offer record. If you click the edit option on a blue offer, that will open up that pop-up again. You can view the chain vertically or horizontally. And you could add another element to the chain this way so that Mark was buying two properties. You've got the legend on the side that will tell you what the different colours down the side means and also the chain summary where you could change the name of the chain if you need to.